Hi friends, only 60 days to go for your NEET MDS examination and I am presenting this video and I incorporate here very important topics in periodontology. This is my second video on periodontics. I describe the topics here in chapter wise. So try to listen to uh, complete video. It will not take much time. So the first chapter is gingiva and tooth supporting structures. Dento gingival unit comprises of gingival fibers and junctional epithelium. The length of junctional epithelium is 0 0.25 to 1.35 millimeter. Width of the attached gingiva is greatest in the incisor region in maxilla 3 to 5 to 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter in mandible it's 3.3 to 3.9 millimeter least width in the premolar region maxilla 1.9 millimeter and mandible 1.8 millimeter in periodontal ligament there is type 1 collagen Periodontal fiber which are most resistant to forces along with the long axis. The oblique fiber, they are most resistant to the vertical forces. So indifferent fibers are collagen fibers. The gingival fiber group which inserts in two adjacent teeth is a transeptal group. And one important point is that even after destruction of the periodontal structures, transeptal group of a gingival fiber can regain its structure. Type 1 collagen, bone, gingiva, principal fibers of periodontal ligament. Type 2 collagen seen in cartilage. Type 3 collagen, reticular fibers, granulation tissue, circumaxillary suture and type 4 collagen basement membrane now I'll move to periodontal microbiology this is the most important chapter in periodontics the initial bacteria colonizing the pellicle coated tooth surface are predominantly gram positive facultative anaerobic cocci followed by rods as for example streptococcus and actinomycosis viscosus. Secondary colonizers predominantly gram negative anaerobic rods and filaments as for example Porphyromonas gingivalis, Pribotella intermedia, Fusobacterium and Capnocytophagus species. The sticky polysaccharide present in dental plaque is dextran. The inorganic component of plaque is primary calcium, primarily calcium and phosphorus. The ability of different species and genera of plaque bacteria to adhere one another is known as coaggregation or test tube arrays. Co-aggregation is predominant among gram-negative organisms. Corn cob appearance of flak occurs three weeks of duration. Cocci attach and grow on the surface of filamentous microorganisms leading to corn cob appearance. Corn cob appearance is a very important topic predominant bacteria found in two days of plaque is bacterioids increase in steroids hormones are associated with significant increase in Pribotella intermedia according to Glickman maximum accumulation of plaque takes place in approximately 30 days. 
non specific plug hypothesis assumes that all plugs are pathogenic and specific hypothesis specific plug hypothesis this recognizes plug is pathogenic only when signs of associated disease are present s sanguis is the lethal to actinobacillus actinomycetin comitans leukotoxin is released by actinobacillus actinomycetin comitans what is orogranulocytes orogranulocytes are pmns reaching oral cavity through sub epithelium the predominant immunoglobulin in circular fluid is igg and saliva iga this particular mcq is very important you have to remember that immunoglobulin present in circular fluid or gcf is igg and immunoglobulin present in saliva is iga now gingival and periodontal disease uh, stillman's cleft and mccall festoon you can see in the picture that stillman's cleft is actually apostrophe shaped indentation of the gingiva and mccall festoon it's a life preserver shaped enlargement of the margin of gingiva and the etiology is trauma from occlusion they represent peculiar inflammatory changes of the marginal gingiva so the question if there is a question uh, like stillman clefts and macul festoon what is the cause of it the answer will be trauma from occlusion stages of gingivitis is very important how many days uh, it takes to cause stage 1 2 and 3 4 and uh, what are the vascular changes what are the predominant immune cells and what is, what is the clinical findings these things you have to remember for stage 1 it takes 2 to 4 days and the vascular changes the permeability of vascular bed is increases and the predominant immune cells is pmns and uh, gingival findings gingival fluid or gcf will increase in stage 2 of gingivitis it will take 4 to 7 days and the vascular changes vascular proliferation and the predominant immune cell is lymphocytes clinical finding erythema bleeding on probing stage 3 it takes 14 to 21 days and the vascular changes stage 2 as well as blood stasis and the predominant cell is plasma cells and lymphocyte and particularly b lymphocyte and the clinical finding change in color size texture etc and the stage 5 there is advance it will take greater than one month and the vascular changes is the degeneration of periodontium and the predominant immune cell is plasma cells and actually you can say stage 4 it is it is the advancement of gingivitis to the periodontitis and the clinical finding is loss of connective tissue attachment and alveolar bone so you have to remember the stages now the organism that is significantly increased in pregnancy is prevotella intermedia i have said earlier that the steroid increase in steroid will increase in p intermedia in case of pregnancy p intermedia is significantly increased for that <coughs> the organism that initiates puberty gingivitis is capnocytophaga species pregnancy gingivitis begin in the second or third month and increases up to 8th month and decreases during 9th month and leukemic enlargement mostly occur in aml vincent's angina is caused by fuzo spherocytal complex the best mouth was for anug is hydrogen 
peroxide. Drug of choice for ANAG is penicillin and metronidazole. Resorption of thick margins resulting in plateau formation that is called LAZ. Most occurring defect in mandible is osseous crater. In one world vertical defect, one wall is present. That means if you say three world vertical defect, that means three wall is present. If you compare the prognosis, which defects prognosis is good? Three wall defect definitely when you compare to one wall defect. Because in three wall, three wall is already present. So one world vertical defect means one wall present. And three world vertical defect means three wall present. Primary herpetic gingival stomatitis usually occur prior to age 10. Common sign for trauma from occlusion is tooth mobility. Radius of action of toxins in the bacterial plug is 1.5 to 2.5 mm. Now the radiograph of a periodontal ligament of a tooth which has lost its antagonist shows narrowing of medial space. Drug of choice of localized form of juvenile periodontitis is tetracycline. I forget to write here that it's tetracycline is the choice of localized form of juvenile periodontitis. What is papillon Lefevre syndrome? It's an inherited autosomal recessive disorder characterized by hyperkeratotic skin lesions, severe destruction of periodontium, and calcification of dura. So papillon Lefevre syndrome is very important. Now, as I said in the part one video, that I will take a uh, exam type of thing in part 2 video so I have set two slides for your uh, memory testing you can say just try to answer these slides linear gingival erythema is seen in which disease which of the following treatment modality is sufficed for sinus lift procedure is it soft laser, is it piezoelectric appliances or osteotomes or source membrane filters, lifters? What is the bacteria and primary infection in acute apical periodontitis? And plasma cells are mostly seen in one of the following stages of gingivitis. Next I said, DAS is associated with aggressive periodontitis. Which bacteria is associated with aggressive periodontitis? What is the glucose level of GCF? What is the most important virulent factor for Porphyromonas gingivalis? And which microbial group is associated with Actinobacillus actinomycetium comitans? What is Langer technique? Current used in electrosurgery is which type of current? Minimum space is required for placement of two consecutive 4 mm implants. What is the space is required? Main inorganic component of calculus. So, these are some home task for you, and the answer I have already discussed in part one video if you want the answer of these questions you can go through part one video thank you very much for your patient uh, listening we'll meet in next video